Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Fork and Plants. We're doing part two of my Expo West Hall video. So if you haven't watched the first one, uh, you can watch it before or after, it doesn't really matter, but go watch that one too. There's some great stuff that we talked about. And now I'm gonna finish with the rest of the stuff that I got at the Natural Products Expo. So first we're gonna start with all of the refrigerated stuff. So Holy Veggie is this new brand from I believe they're from Canada, and they just made their U.S. debut, which is really exciting. So we got their uh, cauliflower kale pizza crusts, and they also make these veggie bites, which is, um, they're really good. I had them at the expo, these two. And then they also make veggie patties, but those have egg whites in them, I believe. So be careful if you see those in the store with the ingredients. But these are all vegan, gluten-free, and very delicious. I'm really excited to make a pizza on this crust. And then from Food for Life, I got some of their black rice tortillas. I've only had their brown rice tortillas, and those fall apart, so I'm really hoping that these are better. And best vegan cheese out there, in my opinion, one of them, one of the top three, Veal Life. I will always opt for their products when I can. They're so good. Uh, they're working on some really great new stuff. Can't talk about it, but... I'm really excited for the things that they have in store. And they gave me these shreds, one of each flavor. Also love their parmesan and their hurumi, which is gonna to come to the US in 2020. And Better Bites was there, which is like my, I love indulging in Better Bites, they're so freaking good. So they make these uh, cookie dough bites. They look like those. I'm really tempted to like bite one open for you right now, but I'm gonna try to resist. It's basically just like cookie dough covered in chocolate. It's so tasty. And they have a bunch of new flavors. Check my Instagram if you go below. Um, check my Instagram, there's two parts there, and you'll find all of the, their other flavors, and you'll get to see them. And they also sent us home with some of these. These, what are they called? Lil Mo, these little cupcake things. I haven't had one of these in a really long time, so. And they gave us two boxes of these. Yeah, we're gonna eat those. Another thing that they had a couple of there was the low fat oatly, which is the best. So, oatly it adds a rapeseed oil to their other flavors, which is basically just canola oil, which I talked about in video one. But if you missed that, canola oil is it's very high in omega 6s and it's very inflammatory. So, you may want to make sure that you're careful of it. It's a very processed vegetable oil. But low fat one I don't drink it because it's low fat I don't really care but they this one does not have that oil in it it's just the oats and then less than two percent of some vitamins and stuff and they um, tested their oats that they use for this and they have no glyphosate in them which is amazing because they're not organic and non-organic oats tend to be very high in glyphosate which causes cancer and a bunch of other issues their oats do not have that so I've been told also got this Lifeway Plentiful Probiotic Drink. We got this one and another flavor. Um, I don't know which flavor it is, but there, the second ingredient or the third ingredient is organic sugar, which is like great that it's organic, but in this like healthy probiotic drink, I don't need that much sugar. There's in one cup, there's 11 grams of sugar, which is it's kind of a lot. It's like yogurt. It's why I don't really eat many yogurts because there's too much sugar. Um, so I told the lady that, and she's like, oh, well, we have one without sugar, we just don't have it here, but here, just take one of these anyways. So, I took these, maybe my boyfriend will drink them, or I'll find a friend. We also have mush, so coconut cold brew mush. I think this is a new flavor, I can't remember now. Um, I actually won one of their giveaways, they had the Guess the Flavor contest, and I guess that they were coming out with Snickerdoodle a few months ago. And I was the first person to guess it right, and they sent me like a whole box of them, uh, which was really cool. But I love these. They're, they're very dense. They're very filling, but it's a great breakfast. Um, and here it's just oats, coconut, water, cold brew, dates, sea salt. Super legit ingredients. They have a variety of flavors. If you don't want something as sweet, you can get something with um, a little less sugar. And then... My favorite gluten-free and vegan bread company, a Little Northern Bakehouse, came out with sprouted gluten-free bread. Um, I just pulled it out of the freezer to show you. That's why I store my bread so it lasts longer. But sprouted seven grain, and I've already eaten it, obviously, and it's so good. Their bread is amazing. 
um, especially for the price. Like there's some other gluten free breads like Bread Seriously, which I think is amazing too, but it's so much more expensive for a smaller amount. So I really, um, Little Mom Bake House is like a staple. And the last of the refrigerated stuff that I could find in there at least was the Coconut Collaborative Yogurt. So they hooked me up with a few flavors. So this is um, blueberry, mango, and passion fruit. Can you see that? And then vanilla and plain. So these were, you can't even see, there's a big glare. These were so good. Like, there's so many coconut yogurts at Expo, and these were amazing. Um, they also have this chocolate ganache paradise pot, which tastes like a freaking chocolate pie. I didn't even look at the ingredients. So it's coconut cream, water, dark chocolate, sugar, cocoa powder, tapioca starch, locust bean gum, carrageenan. I don't like carrageenan, but it's like the last ingredient, basically. There, yeah, there's like six grams of sugar in this little thing. Um, but it, it's basically a, a dessert, like a, a healthier dessert, I guess. I don't know. It was so freaking good, though. I loved it. So that is that. Let's put this away, and then let's finish up with all of the other stuff. So back to this big old bag here. I got this thing of tea. It's, um, it's called Qi, Q-I-I. And they have... That's, what's that? I have oolong, white peach tea, green tea, and lychee tea. So this is um, tea that's good for your oral health. She like caught me as I was walking past. She was like, do you want some like tea that's good for your teeth? And I was like, what? I was intrigued. So I went over there and talked to her and um, it sounded like a great company. So I'm, I was excited to try some of this. Uh, yeah. So I actually haven't tasted them yet, but or I tasted one there actually, and it was good. I just don't know what flavor it was. And you should consume it after a meal to promote healthy teeth. So yeah, that's cool. Got those four. I love the colors too. They look great on here. I have to read up a little bit more about how they are good for your teeth. Maybe we'll do a follow up video after I've tried some of these things. I'm knocking everything over back here. Got some um, Barney's powdered almond butter. I also got a bunch of their packs of just like regular almond butter. We got this to Tony's makes really good chocolate. There's a big glare again. Tony's Choco Lonely. They only have a couple vegan flavors. This is one of them. It's tasty. Okay. No, that's gonna cut me out. Okay. We're just gonna roll with this glare for right now. Weird hour where the sun is like being weird. Uh, Probiology by Belle and Bella. Florifem Probiotic. I'm currently on hold with taking probiotics because I have a lot of bacterial overgrowth in my gut and I'm taking a whole thing of like herbs and supplements to fix it and I can't have probiotics because I don't want to feed the bad bacteria. I don't even know. Anyways, um, yeah, when I can start taking probiotics again, I'm very excited to take these. All right, something that I wanted to show you guys was, so this F-bomb nut butter, but so they, you would think that they're both vegan. One of them, this one is labeled vegetarian friendly, the salted chocolate macadamia, but the ingredients are dry roasted macadamia nuts, organic dark chocolate, which contains unsweetened chocolate, cane syrup, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, vanilla, and then sea salt. Those are the only ingredients. And so if you read those, you'd be like, well, that looks vegan to me. I wonder why it's not labeled vegan. And the guy who owns the company was telling us that in the chocolate, um, I think it's like in the chocolate, in the vanilla or, so, or something in the chocolate, there's something that has a tiny bit of milk powder, but it doesn't have to be listed on the ingredients. So that's something to keep in mind when you're reading ingredients and for something that's not labeled vegan, even though that brand typically labels their vegan products vegan is to just know that there could be something in there that doesn't have to be listed on the ingredients label, making it not vegan. So that's something good to know for that. And then they also have this one, which is labeled vegan. Excited to give these a try. Oh, more crunchsters. I think I talked about these in the first video. Um, I don't know what flavor. Oh, the other one is barbecue, and this is the Beyond Bacon. They're sprouted mung beans, and they're so good. 
And then in the first video, I was talking about um, Lumberg's new chips. They have a Samosa one um, and another one. Dang it. Oh, Street Taco. Street Taco is so good. So those are in the first video. And then the Korean style barbecue is another new flavor that they're coming out with. I love what they're doing over there. Another thing that I talked about in the first video were these real coconut plantain flour cookies. So the other one was chocolate chip, and then this one is ginger molasses. They make really great tortillas that I love. We got this Rocka lemon coconut cream bar. I guess that works. Um, I was not expecting to like this as much as I did. It tastes like a delicious chocolate bar when you first eat it, and then at the end you get like this like lemon flavor in your mouth, and it was it was unlike anything I've ever tasted, and I really liked it. So they gave me a bar. We got this Boo, this Bouillon. Um, this is just a little variety pack of some of their things. They have a vegetable Bouillon cube, a miso broth one, uh, which is cinnamon and coconut, and then a mushroom gravy one. So I'll show you that there. So the, the mushroom gravy is not gluten-free, but the other ones are. Got these Nutiva O coconut little things. They were just handing these out. These are so good. Also from Nutiva, chocolate coconut butter. I love all of their products and their coconut butter. Um, and this little squeezable pack is amazing. Like it's pretty warm in LA today, so it's melty. You don't need to knead it that much. But the fact that you can just like twist it off, pour it, and twist it back on is so cool. Got these Simple Mills cookies. I've already eaten a couple of these packs since Expo because they're just so amazing. Vegan, gluten free. Check all the boxes. Um, oh, in the first video I was talking about these coffee packs. So it basically it's like you steep it like tea, but it's delicious coffee. So this one's from Counterculture. And you dunk it like a tea bag. So it's great to have really tasty coffee on the go. Let's see what else we got in here. So we got these tea drops, if you've heard of the band, band <laughs> the brand tea drops. Um, they have really cute packaging, so they have these flavors, and then they also make, these are the drops, so it's this little loose leaf tea ball thing that you just drop in water, and it's, it pretty much completely dissolves, which is really cool. Got this rule breaker, gluten-free vegan birthday cake, all naturally colored sprinkles. Um, I tried one at Expo, and it legit just tastes like a birthday cake, it was so good. Another tea drop in here. Oh, this thing called Nana Mint. Mint like no other, simply Nana. So I've never heard of Nana Mint, but at the expo there was a girl like holding this little thing of mint. She like put it in my face. She's like, here, Nana Mint. And I was like, oh cool. So I grabbed it and like took a bite. I was like, wait, what am I supposed to do with it? Like smell it, bite it, um, eat it. She was like, well, just smell it. But I guess you could eat it if you want after I had already like taken a bite of this mint she handed me. I don't know why that was my first instinct, but I did it. But it was really good. It tasted like mint. It didn't really taste too different, but I love mint and tea, so that is exciting to have. Got this little Fordo coffee shop. I love mixing these into like coffee lattes and drinks. I'm trying to do all the food stuff first, and then I'll do the beauty in here. Bobo's Oat Bar. In the first video, I was talking about Bobo's Toaster pastries, which is basically a pop tart, so good. I got some Four Sigmatic stuff. So Four Sigmatic is coming out with this new coffee latte mix, which is amazing. It already has, has the coconut milk powder in there, and they use organic instant coffee powder, maitake, chaga, lucuma, which just gives things like a naturally sweet caramelly flavor, and then organic mahuna purions some stevia, and that's it. So I love all these new like latte packs that like everything's already in there. It's great for traveling because you, I don't have to bring like my frother, my coconut milk, like all of my adaptogens, everything's already in there. So that is amazing. They also have one with chai. This is just the reishi powder in there. And then they have one uh, with matcha. I haven't tried this matcha before, but I have tried their matcha in a tin and it was okay. So I'm hoping that this is better. 
And another brand that is, oh, so Four Sigmatic also has this, a golden latte mix too. And then another brand that's doing something very similar that I tried um, was so delicious, Sun Alchemy. It's by the company Terrasol, which makes a lot of super free powders and things like that. So they have this mocha latte, which was delicious. Again, it's like coconut sugar, cacao powder, coconut milk powder, coffee, um, gelatinized maca, reishi, lion's mane, chaga, MCT oil, like so much good stuff in there. So there's that, and they also have, they also have a matcha one, which was really tasty. I tried it at the expo. So those two are really good. Uh, another thing that's similar to that is roasted herbal tea, which tastes like coffee, but it doesn't have any coffee in it. It's a chino, maca chocolate. And then something really exciting is that a Nestle Toll House was there, which seems weird to have them at the Natural Products Expo, but they have come up with new organic chocolate. So the only ingredients are organic chocolate, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa butter. So they have regular chocolate chips like that, and then something very exciting is that they have vegan white chocolate chips. Ingredients, uh, cocoa butter, cane sugar, tapioca starch, rice syrup solids, rice, rice maltodextrin salt. So ingredients aren't that great, but um, I have yet to try them too. But this is very exciting because it's very hard to find vegan white chocolate. And Nestle did it, and it's all organic. There was also this Swiss company called Chocolate Stella at Expo, and they were from Switzerland. Like, they brought in all their chocolate, and they had a vegan white chocolate that was unreal. It's on my Instagram stories. You can uh, click below to go see that, but oh my god, it was amazing. It was so good. I probably say that about a lot of things, but that was one of my top five. I think I'm at like three or four for things that were my top five, but that was definitely one of them. Another thing that I don't have here that was in the top five is a Thai iced tea from B Sweets made, um, it was all vegan and it was made with deodorized paprika for the color because traditionally Thai iced tea is made with artificial colors, which I don't do. So th they used a natto seed and deodorized paprika so it doesn't smell or taste like paprika. And it was amazing. It was with oat milk and it was so good. This is just a cute sticker. Call me maybe a cauliflower. This brand, um, CC's Veggie makes the cutest stickers. I probably have a few more in here. Wait, so you see my noodle. I don't know, I just think they're hilarious, so I grabbed a bunch of them to like give to my nieces and stuff. And we got Chosen Foods avocado oil packets. I love traveling with these little guys. I love avocado oil. We have a primordial chocolate, a salted maca crunch from Post Defense. They make delicious mushroom uh, supplements and things like that. So they make these chocolates that are loaded with really good healthy stuff. Oh, another Chosen Foods, um, they have these little packets of vegan mayo made with avocado oil. So I took a bunch of them because it doesn't hurt to just have some packets of vegan mayo on you. And then another CC's veggie sticker, Sweet Dreams Are Made of Cheese. Ultra Eco, this little, uh, their new vegan truffle, dark chocolate. We also got this dark chocolate bar from Theo, Root Beer Barrel. Um, I'm very intrigued by this flavor. I haven't tried it yet, so you have to go check my Instagram to see what I think about it when I eat it. Yeah, that's really exciting. JJ's Cocoa Mills, this is like the first vegan caramel that I know of. So they have this new uh, coconut milk caramel bar. They have some other stuff they're doing too, like pumpkin spice caramels and things like that. I got this hemp, I don't know if it's Aja, Asia, AJA tincture. So from Sun God Medicinals, we have that. There was so much CBD and so much hemp stuff at Expo this year. Another primordial chocolate, dark mint. We got this Bee Mixed Zero Calorie Mixer, cucumber mint flavor. I might just like drink this over ice by itself. Um, my favorite brand of toothpaste, Hello. They gave me this charcoal floss. And then they also had these black toothbrushes out to go with like the charcoal toothpaste that the samples that they have, which is so smart so you don't get your toothpaste, uh, your toothbrush all black. But I use their mint toothpaste at home, their blue one, fluoride free. And 
I love it so much. I buy it at Target. Very reasonably priced. I think, oh yeah, it's this one. But just a bigger one. But they, I got this tra uh, travel size. I got a little travel size of Schmidt's Jasmine Tea Deodorant. Nevita's Cacao Lip Balm. So good. The first time I got one of these was a few years ago. And then they didn't have them for a while and they had a whole bin of them this time. So I got a couple. Got this super delicious peppermint organic hand sanitizer from Dr. Bronner's. This is something I'm very excited for. This Living Silica Collagen Booster. Can you see it? So they had um, they had a booth there and the owner guy who was there explaining things was so friendly and so knowledgeable and I learned so much about silica which I already take like silica or silicone in dropper forms to help my skin and my gut and things like that. But this one's um, this topical gel is amazing. I've been using it like on my eczema patches, on my hand, uh, putting it on sore joints and muscles and things like that. And it's, I don't know, I'll have to, maybe I'll do like a full video on this because there's probably so much I could talk about based on what he told us. But my boyfriend and I have been using this and it's great and it absorbs very quickly and doesn't leave any residue. Your skin is just super soft after like 30 seconds. We got this Mill Creek Botanicals Aloe Vera Conditioner. The guy from this company also was very sweet and nice. Um, we got a biotin conditioner. It's very knowledgeable about its products um, and a biotin shampoo. So, this stupid glare. Anyways, um, right now, I can't even remember the brand of shampoo and conditioner I used. I've just read off like 50 some product names, more than that. But anyways. I will give that stuff a try and see how it compares to the stuff I'm already using, which I love. We got uh, Thayer's, just came out with the new men's line. So they have this aftershave, lo aftershave lotion with witch hazel. So got that. Um, there's this Art and Naturals. They have these amazing um, essential oils. So they have this roller for sleep soundly. I got that and then I also got one for awake. So I'm using one at night, one in the morning. I got some of these cleaning sample products from Aunt Fanny's, which is very cool. I'm always looking for new all natural cleaning products, no toxins, uh, vegan, cruelty free, all that good stuff. So these fit the bill. Got these little samples to try and then I'll probably, if I like them, go buy some of the full size stuff. Uh, got some Nutiva MCT oil. From Spinster Sisters, I got this uh, orange hibiscus botanical soak. It's good for your feet. So that will be good to use. I actually, my body wasn't that sore after this expo. I think I paced myself well. I was putting the silica all over me, which I think helped too. Uh, so I haven't even needed a foot soak, really. And then also another one of those latte packs. So Nevitas came out with this cacao latte, which is very, very tasty. I tried it there. Um, just an unreal crispy peanut butter cup. Um, oh, from Host Defense again from the Mushroom Company, I got a little thing of uh, reishi. Also from Thayer's, got some cucumber facial mist. I might use this right now, actually. That sounds so refreshing. It's really warm here in LA right now. Let's see. It smells like cucumbers. It smells like a cucumber, something I used to use when I was like 13. I'm 33 now, so. It's a long time ago. Mmm. That's good though. That is very refreshing. I like it. Uh, oh, I got this pomegranate seed oil, which is like a kind of like a rose oil. Um, but this person also had a shea butter at their booth, which was, it was like the best shea butter I've ever put on my skin. So I'm excited to try this pomegranate oil. Also got some organic tampons and pads. And then last but not least from Nova Scotia Fisherman, they gave a soap, a balm, um, a, a rescue balm, a lip balm, and then a hand cream. So their stuff is really good. My boyfriend really likes it. I got it. Um, some of their stuff a couple years ago at the expo, and he always like, wants me to get more, and this year he was with me, so he got to get his own. But yeah, that stuff is really good too. And it smells, oh my god, it's like so minty, it smells so good. 
And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you didn't go see part one, please go watch that one for some other great products. And if you have any questions, let me know below. Have you tried any of these products and you have any feedback? I also want to hear that. Um, subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff, and I will see you soon. Bye.